Agapanthus is among the most popular of the early summer flowering bulbs we use here in our Louisiana flower gardens. It's an evergreen perennial plant with beautiful strap-shaped foliage. Now there are a variety of different kinds of agapanthuses. There are different species and different cultivars of agapanthus of varying sizes. If you look in the front here, these are tall growing agapanthuses that get to be four or five feet tall when they're in bloom. And when you look behind me here, you'll see much smaller growing varieties. One of the decisions you have to make at the nursery is, does your landscape need these big robust agapanthuses or are the smaller sizes more appropriate? These aren't just younger plants, they're genetically smaller growing. The flowers come in light blue to dark blue. The darker blue agapanthus usually bloom later. The main month for bloom of agapanthus is May, lingering into June, but the dark navy blue ones like Elaine don't usually bloom until June. You may occasionally see either white flowers come up in your blue agapanthus or blue flowers come up in your white. This usually happens because the grower accidentally mixed them up together. I noticed a pot here at the nursery has one white flower and one blue flower on it. So that happens sometimes. Just remove the color that you don't want and plant it someplace else. When it comes to taking care of agapanthus, nothing could be easier. Again, plant these plants in a nice sunny location for best flowering and avoid watering them too much. After they've been in the ground for about a year, they're very drought tolerant and you rarely would ever need to water them if ever. So don't water them too much, you'll rot the bulbs out and that happens to people all the time by watering these plants too much in the summertime. This is a great time to go to your local nurseries, buy some agapanthus and add them to your landscape for that beautiful cool blue color. Forget it growing. I'm Dan Gill with the LSU Ag Center.